Okay, so these awesome beasties here are dichroic crosses, and I'll explain what they do later, but you have benefited from these guys at some point in your life. So what happens when I shine light through this guy? So there's our dichroic cross, and what we're gonna do is gonna put in the light there, like that, and you will see blue comes out this side, red comes out this side, and the green comes out the back. Now I've got a second cross here, which I painted a little arrow on. So when I put that down next to it, you'll see it looks exactly the same. You know, blue comes out this side, red comes out this side, green comes out the back. Now what happens when I rotate this by 90 degrees, okay? Now all of a sudden, red comes out this side, blue comes out this side, but green still comes out the back, even though I've only rotated it by 90 degrees. And if I do it again, Right, so this is now 180 degrees from its original position. Green is still coming out the back. Blue is coming out this side. Red is coming out this side. It's exactly the same, yeah? If I rotate it 90 degrees again, okay. You know, it's reversed on the red and blue now, but green's still coming out the back. And if I do it again, green always comes out the back, you see, which is one of these incredible things. If you take another one, right, say this guy, for instance, let's move that out of the way for a second. It looks green. Looks green, looks green, looks green. No matter which way you look through it, it looks green, yeah? Right? Unless you rotate it slightly off axis, then it goes colorless, right? Then it goes green again, and you rotate it a little more, and it goes really brightly colored. And in fact, you see it much better on the little ones. Um, so green, clear, green, purple. And whichever side is, um, yeah, narrower is actually red, and the other one is more purple. Now the amazing thing is, right? So first of all, these are absolutely fantastic Christmas presents because they're defective ones, so that you can get them on eBay for about two dollars, right? I'll, I'll, you just need to type in die crosses, and they are just stunningly beautiful objects. The big ones cost a bit more. These are around 20 bucks or something. Um, but they are just superbly beautiful in sunlight. So they also do other weird things. So this is just looking through one of these dichroic crosses at a screen. Yeah. So at one point goes clear. And at others not so much, right? So this is the interesting thing. If we come back to where it's clear, now all I'm going to do is going to just move my hand in from the side like that, okay? And if I do that, what you find is one hand is purple, one hand is green. Now even more bizarre, and this one just freaks the hell out of me, is you see there's two images there, one purple, one green. If I rotate it just by 45 degrees, right, so I've only rotated the crystal by 45 degrees, yet one of the images has rotated by 90 degrees. So if I just move my finger in from the side, one finger comes in from the bottom. Yeah, which is like super freaky. I've only done it by 45 degrees and boom. And if I rotate it by 90 degrees, now all of a sudden, if I come down from the bottom, one comes down from the bottom, one comes up from the top. It's just like super freaky. Oh. Anyway, so those are your dichroic crosses. I mean, they're just captivatingly beautiful objects. So what are these things used for? Well, they're actually used in something that you use on a regular basis. They're used in color projectors. So what happens is you'll actually have three beam splitters. So they're just so sheets of glass that will take off, say, the blue light. So this, in this case, this is just acting as a single beam splitter for blue light. Or this is actually, conversely, has being a single beam splitter for orange light. And then you would take that and you send it through a liquid crystal display. So that means you've now got an image in orange, an image in blue, and an image in green. Right? And then you've got to recombine all these. And the way that you recombine them all, so you'd actually have three beam splitters, boom, boom, boom. One gives red, one gives green, one gives blue. 
and then you're going to recombine them. And the way you recombine them is with one of these guys. Um, and it's absolutely fascinating. Whoever thought of this was an absolute genius that your red image comes in there, your blue image comes in there, your green image comes in there, and out of the front there comes your color image. But they are just the most beautiful, you know, considering they only cost like a couple of bucks, they're just stunningly, stunningly beautiful beasties. Now, I've got another question. What would happen if I did something completely crazy? Like I take this guy and, right, so the blue light's coming out there, red light's coming out there. What happens if I get another light and shine it in there? Well, by happy coincidence, I actually have a second light. And if I do that, what happens is you now get red, red, green, green. And if I rotate it by 90 degrees, it now goes blue, blue, green, green. And if I rotate it again, it goes red, red, green, green. So yeah, um, whoever thought of these things was an absolute genius. You know, so it's, it's basically two beam splitters in one block of glass, but, oh my word, they're beautiful and they're, they're just incredible. <laughs>